What's up, guys? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Three. What's, What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome I'm back. Here. Tom Bully fishing on a new lake for me. Tom was out here with Caitlin and Josh Woodward yesterday. They killed it. We're gonna try it again. We'll see how we do. Yeah, so yesterday we found some fish way up shallow on a couple spots. We have not fully completed the puzzle. Super cold, super windy, obviously making it more difficult. I think there's a lot of fish just don't want to bite and probably a lot of fish more scattered than they were a few days ago in the warm. So the goal whenever you come to a new lake is to kind of find a good bite and uh, repeat it all across the lake. So that's the goal today. We're gonna start out kind of where we were catching them yesterday, way up shallow. And uh, we'll give you guys a lowdown how it's going. Hopefully catch some walleyes, hopefully put the whole puzzle together. Stay tuned, let's get some fish. Hooked up. Bass or walleye? I'm calling it bass. I don't know. I don't know, this might be a walleye. Sure Look at that, Shelby. First, first walleye of the day. Nice little 16 incher there. What do you think? I'm happy with it. It's already off. On the slip bobber. They seem like they're kind of slow this morning already. We're looking at them on side imaging and not getting many bites yet, but slip bobber got the first bite. Fish on. Bobber in the way? No. I was out at the very end of my cast too. Probably bass. No, it's a little guy. A little walleye. Hopefully bigger ones will come. It's a walleye. Another one on the slip bobber. Nice one. So far, what we got? Like four on slip hours. Nothing big yet. There's about a 16 inch. Yep. A little better, maybe. Uh, I don't think so. I but hope. So. Still fun. Yeah. Yes, it's a walleye. 15, 16 incher. That's nice. A lot Choked of those so it. Far. We got a good leech bite is on. Not getting a ton of jigging yet. Pop jigging, but getting them on slips. Got him? Yep. How do you feel? The same as the other? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, maybe. We'll see. He just got big. I don't see him yet. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Yeah, oh, I did. Back up shelf truck, Grandma. There we go. They're about 16, 17 incher. Stocky little guys. We're catching a lot on a slip bobber and a le uh, leech. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> but we're gonna move and hopefully find some bigger walleye. All right, so this first spot we stopped on where we caught all those fish is actually an inside weed edge. We get a lot of questions about basically what is an inside weed edge. And it probably happens a little bit more in a lot of your clear systems where you'll have a weed edge that'll start at like six feet deep and it'll kind of run out to 12. And most guys always focus on that 12 foot line and then deeper than that on that outside edge. Um, a lot of times this time of year when you got water temps kind of like in that 55, 60, 65 degree range, a lot of these fish sit up on the inside edge, even in very clear water. So as we're cruising into this spot here, what you're gonna see is, here's the start of our weeds right here, right? And there's no fish sitting on the outside edge, but right when we get to the back side of this, there should be some fish. You can see the weeds are pretty thick right where we are right now. And the second we get on the back side, it's gonna be barren. There's gonna be no weeds on the inside of this. And what you're hopefully gonna see is still a few fish that we left here. And I'm not seeing a lot right now, which means we did a pretty good job of picking them apart. But right here is your inside weed edge. So you can see now we are in six feet of water. 
and these fish were sitting right here on this inside edge. And you can see deeper here, shallower here. That's your inside weed edge right there. See some walleye there, shall we? I got him, I got him. Nice one. Nice one, finally. I'm a jerk now. Yep. Bobber down. And we got a bobber down. Let's go up on him. Uh oh. He's on Small the surface. <laughs> Not a walleye. Nice. Better? Nice walleye. That's a cool looking walleye. That is a cool walleye. I'm trying. Oh, I don't think you, you can't see it. Okay, there. Got a boy, Josh. Nice. Finally. Oops, yeah. Sorry. Whack you with the camera. On the rip and wrap. Nice one. Nice fish. Finally. Hooked up right by the boat. I don't know if you got that on film, but. You got a nice wallet, Chevy. Do. Hop jigging some of the wind blown weeds. Good work, Shelby. We're getting a little better here. Hopefully, even bigger. A nice one, though. Yeah. Figuring it out. Yes, wind, we are. Wind blown milfoil. You guys don't. I hope you got that on video. I don't I did think you did. It's a walleye. It's a walleye. Finally getting a few consistency. And definitely a little better size. Yeah. On the jerk fin off, snapping a quarter ounce round. Alright, so in these spots we're still fishing a lot of weeds and uh, it's basically mostly milfoil that we're fishing and a lot of these humps are, we're actually, we're mainly fishing like shoreline points and flats and they'll kind of be gravelly or sandy on top without much weeds right on top. And those fish are pretty much sitting on that inside line right on top or there's a lot of these humps where the weeds are kind of too thick to almost see fish and they kind of thin out as you go up higher and uh, as long as they're in the wind they seem to be holding fish so a lot of times we're just kind of spot locking in that 10 to 13 foot zone and we're kind of letting slip bobbers drift back up on top and then we're also pitching jerk minnows back up on top and uh, that's kind of the deal. We also have um, 60 degree water down here which is warmer than the rest of the lake was which is always a good thing and uh, that's kind of the deal. You know a lot of times you're fishing weeds that are kind of too thick to see fish. Um, you just kind of spot lock and kind of the sweet spot and throw back into it so that's what we're doing. Walleye. Here's a bath. Mm -hmm. Nice little walleye. On the slip bobber. Mm -hmm. It's a little one. It's too much fun out here. I love fishing new lakes. And it's very fun when you actually find the fish and it's been a successful day. So maybe we'll go try another lake. All right, well that is gonna do it for us today. Um, this is actually my second time on this lake. We were out here yesterday and uh, it's kind of a cold front so I wasn't sure if fish were gonna be up shallow or deep and there's just a ton of structural elements in this lake. Super cool lake to fish, a lot of deep water, pretty clear overall. And kind of the pattern we got on was for the most part, fishing shallow weeds and especially inside weed edges on a lot of shoreline flats. And this is honestly the same pattern I'm fishing a lot of right now. Um, where I fish, do the most fishing back in here, Wisconsin, on a lot of these deep clear lakes. A lot of fish in that five to kind of 12 foot range and especially around a lot of milfoil. You know, there's some lakes that have a lot of just straight cabbage, which is fine. Other lakes will have milfoil. That milfoil and a lot of that new weed growth up shallow just holds so much heat. Um, if you have that stuff available to you, June is often times the weed month. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, you know, kind of the two presentations we fished with snap jigging stuff and uh, slip bobber stuff. And both those are great techniques really all June. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Not sure where we're going next or what we're filming next. Um, but stay tuned because we've got a bunch of content on the way.